Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Ricky Matthews. And uh, warmer surface temperatures in the Atlantic Ocean and also the lack of El Nino and the presence of a La Nina this year expected to contribute to that, in, that active hurricane season uh, across the Atlantic Basin this year. Something we'll certainly be watching here as we go through the next couple of months. Here's Tower Cam 10 this morning. Watching a lot of clouds move through boats down the Elizabeth River this morning. Not a bad shot, uh, but a cloudy shot with a few rain showers moving through as well on Super Doppler 10. Notice a little bit of light rain now moving through the peninsula. We've got some light rain on the south side as well. Hampton towards Langley seeing some light rain. More rain here in the western side of Suffolk as we head towards Franklin and Southampton County. And then down towards northeast North Carolina. One little shower here near the Albemarle making its way into portions of uh, Pasquotank and Camden counties and then eventually up towards Currituck counties as it continues northeast towards the Currituck Sound and eventually into the Atlantic Ocean. Here's what we have on a wide view. Notice out towards the west there is some cold air out there this morning. Some snow showers, some snow flurries ongoing across parts of western Virginia, parts of East Tennessee and West Virginia. No snow here today, nothing to worry about winter weather wise, but we will see a few spotty showers continue this morning till around 10 a.m. Then after that, rain chances diminish and we will see some sunshine return as we head towards lunch. Now into the afternoon, we'll see clouds start to build back in once again. And this evening, a chance for a few showers will exist across the area as we see that upper level low continue to spin through our region and move off the coast. 50s, upper 50s to low 60s this afternoon. A pretty nice day, but certainly a little cooler than what we've seen over the past few days here locally. Winds out of the west, 10 to 15 miles per hour today. So as you see these temperatures in the 60s, that wind out of the west may make it feel just slightly cooler. Uh, but with the sun around for the first part of the afternoon, it'll feel all right out there if you're out and about here on this Saturday. Langley Speedway kicks off their season tonight. Temperatures there expected to be in the low 50s when the races get going a little bit later this evening. Uh, hopefully all those little light rain showers skirt around the track. It's a small track. Hopefully we can keep them all away. 40s tonight, partly cloudy skies. We take a look at the frost potential Sunday morning. That will be highest across some of our western areas. You can make your way into Surrey and Sussex, Isle of Wight County, uh, Southampton County, Suffolk, and also towards New Kent. Uh, maybe a little bit up northeast North Carolina, too, towards Gates and uh, Northampton counties. Uh, maybe a bit of Hertford County, the western side there, too. But overall, very spotty areas of frost expected Sunday morning because I think the wind may stay up just enough overnight along the coast to help keep our temperatures in the low 40s and really not allow for a lot of that patchy frost to form. Future track through the evening hours, you notice a couple of those spotty showers that I'm talking about. Those quickly move out by midnight, and then as we go into Sunday morning, we're seeing a lot of sunshine. Sunday afternoon, same thing, even into Monday. A lot of sunshine, too, expected across the area. Monday, temperatures going to be climbing up into the mid-70s. We'll see 80s by Tuesday into Wednesday. Take a look at what the next seven days looks like. Not bad. Thursday, slight chance of a shower. Thursday, better chance for rain. We head into Friday with temperatures generally in the mid-70s.